now to a chaotic crime that stretched from the Katy area to just north of Houston's uptown area, a bank robbery on Cinco Ranch that led to a police chase. Now, we've been watching both scenes all afternoon at the bank, police investigating just what happened at the First Community Credit Union, and at the end of the chase, a search for the remaining robbery suspects. That's where our Roseanne Aragon joins us live. And Roseanne, you just got some new information about this? That's right. Within the last couple of minutes, we've just learned that the last two suspects of eight suspects have been arrested here at this complex where the chase has ended. Now, police had had the SWAT team out and that residents were told to stay inside, but now residents have an all clear. You can see the SWAT team right there packing up their stuff. This scene is about to be cleared up. But police say these suspects are no stranger to breaking the law. Houston police had been following this group of suspects. We developed information on these individuals, suspected them of multiple robberies and, uh, and violent crimes in all over the Houston area. Including here where four people went inside the bank wearing hoodies armed and taking what police call a large sum of money. We were alerted that they were already inside this bank, this first community bank out uh, off of Seeker Ranch Boulevard where they committed a robbery as they came out. Uh, we still did not have enough resources to engage them. There's multiple suspects, multiple vehicles. So as they left the location, we followed them. Police say at least eight people were involved, some keeping watch. Investigators say they followed four cars, stopped three of them, and arrested four suspects in those traffic stops. Witness David Dixon says he saw a silver SUV stopped right in front of him on Cinco Ranch Boulevard. They came almost to a stop, and I'm like, what are they doing? And then that's when the cops just jumped all out the car, and because I... Th I if memory serves me right, I think there was only one marked cop car. I think the other ones were, were unmarked. So the Police say the fourth car, a black Toyota Tundra, kept on for 30 minutes and finally bailed near the 1200 block of North Post Oak Road. One of those individuals was hurt immediately as he jumped out of the vehicle because the vehicle was still rolling and he ran in front of it and was hit by his own vehicle. Uh, that's in, that individual is at the hospital now. The other three did scale the fence and jump and run, run into the property. Six of the eight people they know of are now in custody. We're asking the residents of this property to please be patient with us uh, while we conduct this. Please stay indoors. Now, again, in the last couple of minutes, we just heard that they have found all of the eight suspects that they believed were involved. You can see the scene still active right now. They're cleaning up their things, but residents have the all clear. They're okay to go outside. They've since opened up this road right here. Now, police say these suspects are uh, investi are being investigated. They've been following them for, for more than just this specific instance. We're not sure if any other charges will be filed. Again, they have all of the suspects in custody, and they have four cars in their in their evidence as their evidence base reporting live Roseanne Aragon KPRC Channel 2 News sounds like quite an enterprise Roseanne thank you